Ooh. Oh, I don't have the books with me. Just one second. And we're back. Okay, so on my last Artifiction video, I discussed some recommended books. <clears throat> um, and one of those books was... Uh, don't have that book. And one of those books was this book here. John Gardner's On Becoming a Novelist. Um, I wanted to follow up on that with some other excellent John Gardner books because he was a big influence, especially early on in my writing career. Um, and I thought you might be interested in some other books that he's written. <clears throat> uh, probably his most famous book is this one here, John Gardner, uh, The Art of Fiction. The title might sound familiar, yes. I That was the book that inspired the title of my series, The Art of Fiction. Um, although technically the title itself goes back to at least Henry James's book, which was titled The Art of Fiction. There's other books that are called The Art of Fiction as well, but this is the one that inspired me. Um, this is, is a book he also wrote called On Moral Fiction, which was extremely controversial when it came out because he kind of attacked a lot of the writers, a lot of his contemporary writers. Um, but I think the basic uh, premise of it is still sound and still relevant today. Um, Obviously, because he attacks some of his contemporaries, it'll be a bit dated. Um, you probably won't recognize some of the authors that he mentions or that he goes after. Um, but again, the actual argument still holds, or at least is worth um, being aware of. Uh, then we got this book, John Gardner on Writers and Writing. Uh, this one's a collection of just some essays, um, some... Uh, book reviews that he did, but it also adds to his overall arguments, so uh, check it out if you're interested. Uh, then we got this one, Conversations with John Gardner by, uh, who's it edited by? Alan Chavkin. Uh, this is just a collection of interviews that he did uh, over the years. Um, there, it gets a bit re repetitive because you're dealing with the same uh, arguments over and over again, but there are still some juicy nuggets in here. So if you want to go deeper, uh, another uh, good book to get. Uh, and then I thought I might uh, recommend some of his fiction. Uh, his famous one is, probably his most famous one is Grendel. Uh, if you're familiar with Beowulf, Grendel, I remember the monster. Uh, he tells it from the perspective of Grendel, the story, the Beowulf story from the perspective of Grendel. Uh, certainly interesting and not my personal favorite though. Um, there's some other ones like October Light, Nickel Mountain, uh, the Sunlight Dialogues. Those are the ones I can remember off the top of my head. Freddy's book. Uh, this is the one though that I personally recommend. Uh, John Gardner in the Suicide Mountains. It's essentially a book-length tale. What else? What else? What else? Oh, so anyway, it's just it's an excellent uh, presentation of his ideas in a fictional form so you get to sort of see how those ideas play out uh, in the real world so to speak or in the fictional world um, okay I guess that's all I have for this week bouncing on my bouncy ball okay uh, any other John Gardner books you like put them down below okay bye